Hi and welcome back to Sadie's Spincraft. Um, you may hear the dryer in the background, sorry about that. Um, also, I wasn't about last week, I was so tired after work, it was on, only my second week. So yeah, kind of things, just I was tired. Um, but I did get some stuff done, I'm sure you'll notice a few new things in the background. We'll show them when I've shown all mine. I'll give you a shout, mm -hmm. okay? So, over the past two weeks, I have been using my loom, and I finished the three-ply, the true three-ply that I were doing on the Nano, but plied it on the Kromsky. Um, can you go sit down, please? Just while I get this done, because you're putting me off. So, I'm gonna go through the yarns, the dyeing, the uh, weaving that I've done over the past two weeks. Um, just not had time to film because they've been done in small bits, not big time. So I'm gonna start with the leading off from the last video, which was dyeing the plant fibers. Um, I did have a go at spinning them on their own, straight from the end but I did not realize how short these fibers were like this is the calm so I'm definitely gonna have to um, blend this with something so what I've decided to do uh, the pole with locks let's just get the pole with locks that I want I washed I'm gonna actually dye these I'd already started flicking some so we'll use these as well that I've flicked um, so we've got these flicked but I'm gonna dye these maybe take a few out and do some more flicked so we've got some extra white um, and then I'm gonna actually blend the pole with with all the different plant fibers so I'll have more plant fiber than what do you call it fleece <laughs> um i just want the fleece to give it a bit more staple length and something just that i can spin because i don't want to ruin these beautiful lovely fibers so yeah that's my plan for those then leading on to the three ply that I did, here it is, hang on we've got plant fibres all over us, see if you can see the shine and the, this, it hasn't been washed yet and set but this is what I've got so far and this was 485 yards fingering weight at 139 grams. I think I did pretty well there. Um, oh, I just lost my tag. Put that back on. Oh, struggling. Put that back on. <laughs> there we go. So, yeah. That's my little tag. And that's the yarn. This is what I had left over, it was just the one single that were left and I chain plied it and that was what we had. Isn't that so pretty when it's chain plied? I wish I'd chain plied all three of them. But I like my true three ply as well so next time I think I might double everything up do a true three, three ply and then three chain plies just to see the difference. I think that'd be quite interesting. Um, next, I tried doing a singles. See, I don't usually leave them as a single uh, simply because I've never known what to do with a single. 
but now I'm chatting it socks and I'm weaving I thought I'd give it a go but once again I overspun and it has been washed it has been thwacked it's also been snapped I have tried everything <laughs> to get those little curly cues out but I didn't succeed but I'm still gonna use it I don't mind I'll try again at some point uh, but yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on the, I'm gonna use it on the loom so that's a singles that I tried um, I've already started spinning one, it's upstairs, I forgot to bring it down. Uh, bring it down for uh, the one in the basket, just bring the basket down, please. So, I dyed up some fibre blends, comb top blends, uh, a couple of weeks ago with the kids, um, Hunter and his friends, um, and we used Delphinium Blue. Kelly green and pink just to see what we could do with it so they're the only three colors we used this one was delphinium and pink and we got this lovely purples and blues this one was the green the Kelly green delphinium and pink this is only a small part because I've already started spinning for a three ply I've got that little bit left to do on the bobbin upstairs and then this part. So yeah, that's so pretty, I love it. And it's got a silk with it, is that one? This one's bamboo, I've got bamboo with this one. This one is tensil and merino. They're all merino by the way. Will you leave her alone? So that was delphinium blue and pink, but I kind of layered them on in a strange way. I can't quite remember how we did it, to be fair. Should have filmed it. You'd have loved it. Um, also, this one was Kelly Green and delphinium blue. And it's soy. Soy fibre, I think it's soybean, I'm not sure, but yeah, that's the soy fibre in that one. And I think that one is so pretty as well. I can't wait to spin that one up. And last but not least, on to the weaving. So, I'll get this one off first. This was my first one. I didn't do very well on the hemming, uh, this one. The hem I did after because I didn't realise I had to do it before uh, I started weaving. That side I actually did on the loom. It were better, but still wasn't perfect. So this is the scarf that I made. And it still needs washing yet, but I think it's quite lovely actually. It's not scratchy. It's merino. I could quite happily wear this all day long. Um, yeah, I'm really, really, really happy with it. To say it was my first time getting it off the loom. So for this, I used, I'll show you, this brown merino that I spun a couple of years ago now. Uh, as the warp and then this one that I spun up last year um, as the weft and that was the result that we got so out of 300 grams I've got I'd say about 150 left so that were good I can make another one more than likely and this little beauty I finished this morning and this is like a shawl and it's Shetland for the weft and the warp but I added in these blue stripes with a blend of Shetland um, <coughs> bamboo 
and Angelina, so I'll show you those. And I really, really like it. I didn't have any patterning, so it, they're not spaced out perfect. Actually, they're not actually <laughs> that far off. Um, they're all different widths and things, but that is a shawl. It's my Shetland shawl, and all I need is a pin, and yeah, I think it'll look rather pretty with a lovely summer dress or whatever. I think that's rather, rather wonderful, even if I do say so myself. Also needs washing, but we'll do that soon. I'm quite proud of myself, you know. <laughs> um, so yeah, I did hem first before. It's not very good, but I hadn't watched any videos or anything at this point. I just kind of had an idea in my head. But then, oh my word, I watched a video, just the one, and look at the difference. How pretty and neat is that? So Sadie can now hem, yes. And that's the back. I'll show you the, the other side. So, yeah, Sadie can hem. Ah! They do need cutting a bit better. I didn't actually realise they were that far off. Look at that. Not one bit just stuck down there. Right, that needs cutting. I can't leave that without sorting it out. Where's them scissors gone? Scissors, scissors, scissors. Where are the slippers? Where have I put them? Oh, they're under the yarn. There we go. Right, just let me take that bit off. Yes! That makes me feel a bit better now. So, yeah. I'll show you the yarn I used. So, I had 200 and three grams, I think it was, 206, of this green Shetland that I dyed a long time ago. It was live, we all did it together. Um, I got it all spun up. So that was the weft. And this is the last of the, uh, just a mini that I'd made with Shetland, Bamboo and Angelina, different. So it were a blue with flecks of green and white and light blue bamboo running through it. I made my own shuttles simply because the one that came with the loom is like, oh, I'm not using it. It's way too big. I don't like it. I tried using it. Not for me. I'm going to cut it in half and just sort the ends out. Might as well. Then it's not being wasted and then I'll have two. And I do believe that is everything. So, yeah, this is the big beast. That's the big beast that we're using. That was the heddle. Hunter, yeah. we went to um, Whitby day. yesterday and he went fossil hunting. He'd like to show you the fossils that he's found. Um, come here. He's going to show you the fossils that he's found. Uh, this is a shell. Come on, should we get a bit closer? So these he found yesterday in a... Well, he brought home a big slate stone. You can't quite see it because it's trying to focus on my face. And Hunter and his dad have... I don't know if you can see that one. Yeah, Hunter it's got a print on it. have uh, dug them out. And is this one? You've got loads of unique shells. Aww. And that one. You'll have to excuse my nails. I do work in a warehouse now full of oil and stuff. and I do scrub them with the nail brush, but they don't come... Perfectly clean and anymore. The reason why she doesn't do videos more, that often anymore. And then there's that one. And this one. 
And then last but not least, where is it? Is it on this one? What? No, the one oh, on I that. just broke off it. Right, so that's just another bit that fell off. Yeah. So anyway, it's like slate and it's all built up. And you can see in the layers where the fossils are. So yeah, we brought home a couple of, Oi! Couple of uh, slate slabs. You can see there, that's where one of these came out. I think it was that one. So that was actually in it like that. And then it came out, which I find absolutely fascinating. But yeah, it comes apart in sheets and you can get full ones. So, well, that's the end of that. I hope you have all enjoyed watching this show and tell. I hope to get a video done of me dyeing the pole with locks. I also have some camel, baby camel and cashmere to dye. It's only 50 gram. Um, but I'm really worried about it because it's so fine. So what I'm going to do is do it in the slow cooker, crock pot, whichever you want to call it. And I'm going to film that as well. So, yeah, keep an eye out for videos coming up ahead. I'm not going to say when I'm going to be able to make it live because trust me when I say, oh, so tired. <laughs> um, give me a month or two just to get my body used to getting up and going out and doing what I do every day, bathroom. Saturdays and Sundays, although I'm working next Saturday, so that's all good. <laughs> so thank you all for watching. Much love and light to all of you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And no matter where you are in the world, where it, blah, 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 whether it's morning, afternoon, evening or night time, I want you to do what you love doing. See you all again soon. Bye, beautiful. I want to hit a million.